let's talk about attacks in the air. The beautiful thing about learning some of these difficult attacking mechanics is you can actually use them on defense too, which I guess makes this whole video a lie, since really these mechanics are useful on both ends of the pitch. It's the process that counts. The repetition required to become consistent at air dribble wall setups, for instance, will not only lead to amazing solo plays, it's going to make you really comfortable on the wall in general. And I don't know if you've taken a look around the field in Rocket League, but there's a lot of wall. So you should learn... You should learn wall. Here are some of my favorite fundamental attacking moves that every player should get comfortable with. One, the air dribble. Mastering the air dribble wall setup will open up a lot of other things, so it's a great place to start. Use a training pack to help get the feel of matching the speed of the ball, jumping off the wall, and turning to caress that thing through the air. A good way to make this harder and improve really quickly is to try with no air roll. It makes it super challenging, but once you go back to the normal way, it'll be like nothing. Moving on to something more advanced, try the ceiling shot. Unlike the air dribble wall setup, for this, you're gonna wanna float the ball towards the net, just below the ceiling. With that trajectory, it makes it simple to drive up to the ceiling, let yourself fall, and flip into the ball. Once you're comfortable with those two setups, move on to the double tap, one of the most satisfying finishing moves in the game. At this point, you should be practicing these moves in free play rather than a training pack, so you can get a unique setup every time. Finally, you should try learning one of the most difficult mechanics, the flip reset. Some people avoid learning this because they think it's not useful or too flashy or too difficult for their play style. But just remember, the process of learning things you think you can't do is what will make you better at the basics, too. The key for the flip reset is to create some separation between you and the ball. Pop it away from the wall so you can jump after it with speed while air rolling to get that sweet spot on the underside of your car up on the ball. After that, it takes tremendous car control, or in my case, luck, to orient your car to get power on the ball with your flip. This is pretty advanced stuff for most players, but chances are if you're grinding Rocket League, you've already heard of these moves. But there's also a chance you've put off learning them because you thought they looked too hard, and if that's the case, this is your sign to learn them today. Because once you hit something like this in a game, it'll make the thousands of times you whiff the ball completely worth it. To summarize, forget your whiffs by hitting clips. Oh,